Hey guys, just got an update for you. I spent most of the day today assembling the spiral design hydrogen gas gun. So I was going to walk you through the assembly process. So first thing I did was I changed these. Uh, I ended up changing it to uh, brass pipe from the air hose couplings that I had on there before. A um, couple reasons why. Uh, but none of them seem to make sense now. <laughs> so well, that's what I did. I just added a pipe. Um, also, something else I did, I was afraid that these layers would come apart because all I had bonding them together was silicone. So I drilled and tapped on each side um, some holes and then threaded these nylon screws all the way through and then made it nice and flush on the other side. So that's what that shows. And then on these last two sections here, I added silicone all the way around, made a nice tight fit and a good seal with the silicone. I only did the last two sections because I had this hole here with the bare wire in there for my electron extraction grid, and I didn't want to get any silicone on that. I later came back from the other side and siliconed uh, this section here so it's also sealed from the other side then I added my little electrode bolt here I went in about halfway and then silicone the threads and tightened it all the way down this is just testing um, I needed to make sure that the two layers of um, the end caps on the spiral design were nice and loose because if they're too tight when I push that in there the uh, spiral acts like a spring and the wire gets loose and this can the outside pipe can bend so I just had to make sure it was real loose that's what I was testing here and it worked Here I'm just wrapping the RBG LED uh, strip into a nice tight spiral and then I went around the outside with uh, black electrical tape to hold it all together. <clears throat> I don't know what size the dowel is but it worked out <laughs> just perfect. The outside diameter once the tape was on and everything is just less than the inside diameter of my acrylic tubing which is an inch and a half and that's what it looks like and it held its shape really well I was really pleased with that so I took the two pieces off the top and I uh, went ahead and put a brand new wire in and then added the array When I start the assembly process, I had to cut the this strip of wires here because I didn't want to make a hole big enough for this to fit. So I made a nice small hole just for the wires in the uh, acrylic tubing over here. And then this is just testing to see how much light could get in there. And it's flooded. <laughs> just what we want. Just another angle, just checking it out, see what it looks like. Lit up. And I just uh, I taped this down over here so it'd be nice and flush. Also, I cut a notch in the last section here and added an O-ring. More to just help keep it centered because it, it was so loose. Um, it does provide a, a little bit of help with the sealing of the gas but it's not the main sealing the main sealing is going to be with the silicone on either end and before I put it in I drilled this hole uh, approximately where I thought the wires would end up and like I said I cut that end piece off and then also separated each wire individually And then I made a little wire hook and pulled those wires out. 
took quite a while, <laughs> but it worked out. And then I ended up siliconing that hole really well. And here I was just testing to make sure I still had a corona field, make sure I didn't bend the uh, spiral design and you know make that wire loose. So I didn't get a picture of the corona field, but there is a nice corona field. And that's about it. Now for the grand finale. Here is the finished design. And I'll walk you through some of the possibilities here. So obviously you can select any color you want, any specific um, single color that you want. Or you can do different uh, pulsating applications here. This one walks through uh, each of the 16 colors separately. Uh, this is a fade. You can also adjust the speed of these. Go really fast if you want. Or slow it down. What else? Uh, there's a strobe effect. says it's a strobe. There we go. Had to speed it up a little bit. And then there's flash. This is just red, green, and blue. I'll slow it down for you so you can see that. When you go too fast it just looks white. Alright, and there's white just by itself. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's what I got so far. So this will be two of the three sections I'm going to make um, completed and the third section is going to be the magnetizing chamber but I will probably finish the other hydrogen gas gun um, the slot design before I move on to that and I'll let you see what that looks like before we move on alright thanks for watching uh, leave your comments and suggestions and I'll give you an update soon take care